In this video, I want to do a quick demonstration of the Funnel Total Tracker add-on and exactly what that does. Now, the purpose of this add-on is to actually, as you might guess, track totals throughout your funnel and actually fire Facebook Pixel purchase events um, off to Facebook and let them know what the value was that was purchased on the previous step. So if I buy something on an order form and then I go to the next step in my funnel, which would be an OTO page, then on that OTO page, when I land there and the page loads, I want to tell Facebook that, hey, uh, something was purchased by this customer on the previous step and what that total was. So whatever they purchased, if they bought you know, a core product plus a bump or whatever, I wanna fire the pixel off for that total value from the previous step. And then if they buy something on the OTO page, when they land on the next page, I wanna send the Facebook pixel again with another purchase for, the, for what they purchased on the previous step. So just from that OTO, not the total of the order form and the OTO. So it kind of fires a pay, Facebook pixel purchase event uh, for each step in the process. Now, the benefit of that is, um, is you, that you get to see that the customer uh, is converting multiple times, right? So that actually helps Facebook to actually auto-optimize for traffic that's gonna convert multiple times on your funnel. Now, it does throw a little bit of a monkey wrench in for some people that use Facebook as, the, as their data tool, right? And that's not always a good idea. You might you need to actually be collecting your data from different places and, and use an outside source to kind of analyze that data and what it means. But if you're looking at Facebook to give you your uh, your conversion rate, then your conversion rate is actually going to be higher because you're going to fire a purchase at each step of your funnel. Facebook doesn't understand the concept of funnels or the same customer maybe converts multiple times in the same uh, processing, in the same order transaction. So um, they expect that there's going to be one purchase per customer. But in reality, in this one, when you're working with funnels, the goal is to get somebody to purchase from you multiple times in the same buying session. Um, and so that throws their numbers off a little bit. When somebody buys uh, on your order form, that's one purchase. When they buy on the OTO page, that's another purchase. When they buy on another OTO page, that's another purchase. So now you can have a 300% conversion rate on that one customer. So if you're looking at your conversion rate and saying, what the heck, how, is, how am I getting a 300% conversion rate? That's why and that so you may not trust that number in Facebook, but otherwise the, it's a huge benefit to tell them that this customer converted three times because now they'll go out and look for more people like that and they'll send them to you because at the end of the day, Facebook wants you to have more customers because they, they, they optimize that traffic. They want you to keep spending money with them. So we're going to help them do that. Um, and so let's just walk through and show you how this actually works. And so we've got a product here. We've got an order form. We're going to go ahead and fill this out. Uh, we're just going to put in a uh, name. Uh, we're going to put an email address. I'm going to say 03102020 2 um, That's how I uh, do my testing so that I have unique email addresses. I'm just going to put in 123 United States, Idaho. 83616 and then we're going to put in a test credit card number we can grab that up top here i'm just going to double click and copy that and then we're going to paste that in and we're going to paste that in and we're going to type that out and then we're just going to put in testing testing and now you'll see on this one we actually have um, this is our um, a page that has our Force product add-ons on it, um, Force products add-on. So we've got a, a free trial, seven days free trial, and then it goes to 37 a month. But today we're only collecting the one-time fee, the $7. So we've got a purchase of $7. And then the order summary add-on here is actually totaling up what we're buying today. So whatever that total is down here, that's what's gonna get sent to Facebook on the next page. So we would expect to see a Facebook purchase pixel fire uh, for $7. So let's go ahead and complete this order and let's see what we get. Okay, and we've got the uh, page up and we've got the Pixel Helper now going. And if we take a look at the Pixel Helper, we can see that we've got a purchase event fired. So we got a page view of view content and a purchase event. And if we expand this down, we can see the purchase event was set for $7 in US dollars. Um, and that's what we want to see. So now let's click our buy button. And if we click our buy button, then it should buy this OTO page or by this OTO product. And now if I go through and click on my Pixel Helper, now we can see here, again, we've got a purchase event set and we've got a total here of $7 plus $47. And let's go ahead and click purchase on this one. And we see we, this one, we've got a value set for $47 because the $47 was what was purchased on the previous page. And so that's the purchase that we're going to fire off. We already set a purchase for the $7. 
uh, we, now we're setting a purchase for the $47. So we've got uh, this all working through. We fired two purchase pixels because we purchased two times and we sent the value for what we purchased on the previous step over to Facebook and we've got that all working. So that's what the Funnel Total Tracker add-on does and I hope you like it and I hope you put it to good use.